question, we are tasked to find an equation of a tangent line, uh, tangent to f of x, and going through or at this point, and then we can use a calculator to make sure that that looks right in the end. Okay, so if I want to write the equation of a line, um, I'm probably going to go with point slope form, which looks like this. And for point slope form, I need to have a point, and this is a point on this graph, but it's also the point that the tangent line is going to go through. So I can quickly plug in this for x1, and I could plug this in for y1, and the only other thing I need for my tangent line, the equation of my tangent line, is the slope. So the slope of the tangent line that is going to be the derivative. The derivative represents the rate of change. So we need to find the derivative of f of x and this will tell us the slope for any x and then we'll come back and plug in this x to know what the slope is at that exact instance. Alright well for this one you can see we've got to take the derivative of an inverse trig function and we need to just have that memorized. It's not something you want to try to derive um, uh, on the spot. So the derivative of inverse sine, so here's inverse sine derivative, is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And for us, so this is, I've got boxed in here, that's really what you want to have memorized. Um, for us, we don't have an x, we have a 3x. So inverse sine of 3x, derivative of that is going to be plugging in 3x. But then also, because uh, there's some more stuff here, we'd also have to use our chain rule and say, okay, so the derivative of this is this, but then we've got to take the derivative of this as well, which would be 3. So there's an extra 3 there. And so that gives us 3 over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. All right, so that is its derivative in terms of x. So I'll copy this up over here. So this should be able to give us the slope of this function for any value of x. Now I'm going to go back and say, wait, I'm really only interested in this one instance when x is square root of 2 over 6. Square root of 2 over 6. Nine square root of two over six squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, clean this up a bit and then we can plug that in since this is supposed to be our slope of our line. Um, that should be our equation and then we can use our calculator to graph and make sure it all looks good. All right, so I've got 3 over the square root of 1 minus 9 times. Well, if I square this, this would be like the square root of 2 over 6 times the square root of 2 over 6, which would be 2 over 36, or 1 over 18. We reduce. And then multiply 9 times 1 over 18. This 9 and this 18, times it by 9, divided by 18, could reduce. And now I can say 1 minus a half would be a half. And taking the square root of a fraction is the same as taking the square root of the numerator, which would be 1, over taking the square root of the denominator, which would be 2. And instead of dividing by 1 over the square root of 2, I'm going to think of this as 3 times the reciprocal. So there's the slope 
of this line at that x value. So now if I go all the way back up here, plug that in, 3 square root of 2. Um, there's, there is our equation of our tangent line. Now we're also going to check this with the calculator. So we can graph this in the calculator, we can graph this in the calculator um, and make sure that uh, it, it does look like a tangent line and that it is going through this correct point. But in our calculator it's going to be one to solve for y equals. So I'm going to go ahead and add this over. By the way you could also distribute this and combine some like terms if you wanted to do that. You could um, get it in slope intercept form if, if you prefer that form. Alright, to finish up our checking here, um, the textbook suggests that we graph it and make sure that it looks correct. So you can see I'm going to graph the inverse of sine of 3 of x. And I'm going to graph what I think the equation of the tangent line is. Let's see, I have both those typed in. And there's a good chance that it's going to be very, very hard to see. Uh, so we need to play with our window settings a bit. Since uh, one of them is uh, sine or inverse sine, I would probably start off by trying the zoom 7 for the trig setting. And that makes it a little bit better, but I think I'm still going to zoom in once or twice. So let's try to zoom in. Hope that we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so it's not great, but I can see a little bit of what's going on here. So first, I want to be looking at this correct location, so only of the x value that is the square root of 2 over 6. So if I hit trace square root 2 over 6, enter, it should jump to that location. Okay, and it looks like I do need to see up a little bit. So my window settings, I'm going to make the y max value a little bit taller. That'll make it show a little bit further up. Okay, so let's jump back to that point. All right, so here is the point that I wanted to find the tangent line of, and this is kind of hard to see here, but here is my inverse sine of 3x. And so right in here, this does look like a good tangent line. This might be too much, but let's try to zoom in at that point. So there's inverse sine of 3x, and then here comes along my tangent line at that one instant right there, that one instant, um, it has that slope, and that equation seems to fit in there perfectly, um, so that just confirms that my work should be fine and all that.